Good day and welcome to the Math Salon. I'm Dr. Anamendem. We are going to look at a question for the advanced level, integration with application of uh, partial fractions. <coughs> so the question says compute the integral, integral from 0 to 2, x squared divided by x squared plus 4 dx by applying partial fractions. So I have to do this, I have to integrate from 0 to 2, x squared divided by x squared plus 4 dx. What we notice here is, if I look at the function on the numerator, it's of degree 2, that of denominator is also degree 2. If your degree is the same for both the numerator and denominator, then you can always play around to get something that looks the same on both. So what I will do is, I will do that, 0 to 2. x plus 4 is below, there is no x plus 4 above. I want to have the same, so it looks close to that. So this is x squared plus 4, I can just put plus 4 there x squared plus 4. This is nice. But I just added a 4 that was not there before. That's not mathematically correct, so I have to remove it. So I can do that. But then, I'm glad because it looks something like this. Now I have this. So if I have a plus b on c, then I can actually split the denominators. This is equal to a on c plus b on c. I will do that here. So this is the integral from 0 to 2 of x squared plus 4 divided by x squared plus 4 minus 4 divided by x squared plus 4 dx. This cancels and I get 1 there. So this is the integral of 1 minus 4 divided by x squared plus 4 dx. I will just leave the limits for now. But this is distributive so I can distribute my integral inside and I will get integral of 1 dx minus 4, the integral of 1 all over 4 plus x squared dx. So this is a constant, I can keep it outside. And here, just arranging it to be neat, just polishing, brushing the hair off. So I do that. And then we are still fine. So if I do this, this first integral is just x minus 4. I have to play a little with this. I know that the integral of 1 all over 1 plus a squared x squared dx is the same as 1 all over a tan inverse of ax. So I'll try to use that. So what I want to do, I have to play with this to look like that. I need a 1 here. This has a 4. So I can actually factorize that. So I'll do this. So this is equal to x minus 4, the integral of 1 all over 4 outside. If I factorize 4, then I'm left with 1 here. But there was not 4 on this one, so I can put 4 below. So that if I open the brackets again, then this is 4 times 1, and this 4 times that, and then they cancel out. So if I do that, I also see that 4 is like 2 squared. So I can write this as x minus 4 integral of 1. I can just take this 4 outside here. Into 1 minus half x, sorry, plus all that squared dx. This 4 cancels that. And you see the way I see now, I say that my a is half and x. It looks a bit like that, you see? The a is half because this is half to the power 2. So if that is the case, I can just write the answer. This is, as we already said, this is 1 divided by a. a is half. There, if you compare this, this is ax. So a is half. So this is divided by half. The tan inverse of x on 2. ax. A x A is half and that's x. And this should be from 0 to 2. If I do that there, then I get 2 here minus this inverts. 1 divided by half is like multiplying by 2 all over 1. 2. The tangent of 2 divided by 2 is 1. Tan inverse. 2 on 2 is 1. Minus the lower limit. 0 here is 0. Minus this tan inverse of 0 is also 0. So this is just 0. So this is 2 minus 2. The tan inverse of 1 is pi on 4. So this is pi on 4. That's 45 degrees. I already showed that in one of my videos. So this is 2 minus pi on 2. Hope you liked it. And if you did, thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you.